My name is Margie Geiser, President of MIG Enterprises, and today I want to talk about HIPAA and email. As a registered dietitian or other health professional, your biggest worry is that you are HIPAA compliant when communicating or meeting with clients, especially through the internet. But most people don't really understand what that means. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of what HIPAA is. You can find that elsewhere. But the bottom line is that HIPAA addresses security and privacy. But today it's not just health information. And as recently as this year, there have been more updates to it to include text messages. Privacy is focused around something called protected health information, or PHI. And PHI applies to 18 identifiers, all of which could be included in a health record. If you're a dietitian or a health practitioner in private practice, here are some of those PHIs that you should be most interested in. Name, phone number, cell phone number, email address, full face photograph, and city. To see a list of all 18 PHI identifiers, you can go to this URL that's listed at the bottom of this page. Now I hear from dietitians all the time who were fearful about emailing a client outside an encrypted program or meeting a client on Skype or FaceTime. Oh, it's not HIPAA compliant is what I hear most often. Well, get this. According to HIPAA attorney Paul Hales, no product can be called HIPAA compliant because it has to do with actions. Did that get your attention? We see this all the time, right? Well, it sure got my attention when I heard that. You don't have to run scared around how you can communicate with clients, especially when you hear this. Your client has the right to choose. It's your responsibility to give them that choice, but this means that if your client signs a valid authorization form saying that they're fine with you sending them communication via unencrypted or insecure email. As long as you follow the guidelines I'm about to share, you are fine. This even applies to sending them your electronic newsletter. You no longer need to worry. Again, they have that right to say to you, oh, I don't care if you email me an, un an unencrypted email program. Now, if you'd like to get a template of valid authorizations uh, for not only communication, but as well as testimonials, just click the link that you see on the slide and we'll send those right to you. Along with it, I'll also send you a list of the guidelines to follow when you ask them to sign that valid authorization. Just imagine working with your clients, yet feeling confident you're now free to communicate with them without fear that you're going to get into trouble. By just having your client sign a valid authorization form, you can do just that. This is Margie Geiser, President of Meg Enterprises, and I wish you all the best success with your business. And thanks for watching.